I'd really appreciate that, but let me give you the information if you are listening right now and it's before July 29th, uh, then I definitely want you to come and join this live. So it's live OnlyFans Q&A event. It's Thursday, July 29th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I will, of course, be on there and I will be joined by uh, Promo Queen Lyric. Uh, who is pretty popular on Twitter as well as promote for promoting uh, creators and is very, very passionate about marketing and promotion. And it will be hosted by Roxy Tart, who is wonderful and she has volunteered to host this particular event. And you can also send questions to her at uh, on Twitter at ra- Roxy underscore Tart. That's R O X Y underscore T A R T. So you have questions that you want involved in this particular event, please send them over to her. You can also send them to me at OnlyFans Hero as well. But we will all be there answering questions and talking about OnlyFans promotion and ways to gain subscribers and just everything that you guys know that I talk about in this podcast, just how to optimize and how to promote and how to do so as efficiently as humanly possible. So please, again, uh, sign up. You can sign up at OnlyFans.com slash OnlyFansHero. Follow for free, as I was mentioned, and then the event will be uh, on Thursday, July 29th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please join me for that as I am excited uh, to be on camera (laughs) on OnlyFans um, you know, doing that. So, um, if you have any questions as well about it, just feel free to reach out to me again on Twitter at OnlyFansHero. Okay, so our listener question of the week. Okay, so <laughs> uh, a, a listener from Toronto, Canada, one of my favorite places, uh, asks I saw in the news a creator being hacked. And her page being filled with ISIS propaganda, Who's those who are not familiar with that as a terrorist organization, which is terrible. Um, how can I prevent my page from being easily hacked? Okay, so the big thing here with how someone would get into your page is through your password. The password is what you definitely want to make sure is as secure as possible. And there are several different free password generators online. Uh, One that I recommend is at a site called lastpass.com, and this is by a company called Log Me In, which has been around for quite a while and I've done business with in the past. Um, And you can find this at lastpass, that's L-A-S-T-P-A-S-S dot com slash password generator. So you basically put lastpass.com slash the word password, then a dash, and then generator, which is G-E-N-E-R-A-T-O-R. All right, so basically it will create a very strong random password for your account, again, for free. And if you have run into any problems with that site, you can just go on to other sites and find basically random password generators. You know, it's a good all over it's a good idea overall to do this, even if you don't feel like someone's going to hack, because say you 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 know have someone that has your relation, you know, you were in a relationship um and they had your email and now they're like, hmm, I'm wondering if this person's on OnlyFans, and maybe you know you were in a long relationship and they knew your passwords, and you know, basically you just don't want to be in any kind of situation where you have somebody of any kind. And I mean, certainly not like foreign elements all the time, but just anyone who could possibly jump into your OnlyFans page. It's definitely for most people, they don't have secure passwords. I mean, it's almost universal that people will put in like their last name or, you know, their child's name. You know, these are these are things that are just really easy for anyone to look up, you know, find you on Facebook and figure out what the name of your child is and put a one at the end of it. And bam, you know, now you're, you know, they're in. So it's like, uh, just make sure that you have a strong password. Uh, use, I would definitely use, say, uh, an email. Um, I know that people sign in through Twitter. They sign in through Gmail. And it makes it really easy. But also, that's another very 
you know, hackable or an email that people are going to be very aware of. So if you use everything for Gmail and you use your computer and use everything, if they get into that, they get into everything. So you might want to use a specific Gmail that you set up just for your OnlyFans page and nothing else. And then set up a very secure password. Okay, great. So this was OnlyFans versus sugar dating. Again, you can read this as an article at seobounty.com slash 118. And again, my name is Richard Lewis. I am the founder of OnlyFans Hero Promotion on Twitter, as well as the owner of the OnlyFans promotion company, seobounty.com. And you can find this podcast on Instagram at OnlyFans Secrets Podcast. You can also find us on Reddit at the subreddit of r slash OnlyFans Secrets, a marketing community on Reddit. As well as, of course, we are on OnlyFans. And as I mentioned, please sign up to OnlyFans.com slash OnlyFansHero if you want to be able to watch or participate in the live Q&A event coming up on Thursday. But you can follow for free. That's where you get the latest updates on this podcast. And we're also on TikTok at OF Secrets podcast and as always we are on twitter at only fans hero as well as only fans podcast and just continue to update continue to get a ton and ton of support for our promos on only fans hero i would have to say that we are now doing more promotion than probably everybody else combined <laughs> it seems like on there uh which is great and we've gotten a lot of great feedback from creators you know you get great messages from people saying they got their first subscriber ever you know or the number of subscribers has increased or followers it's just it's it's really great like I know how much time and effort you know was put into a lot of those pages to set them up and you know I wanted to make sure that they were you know just ready for you know, paid promotion. And so we're running that. And if you have any questions about that, feel free to let me know. And you can go to seobounty.com slash Twitter dash promos if you want to get a promotion that runs across all of the different pages that we run on Twitter. Everything from pages for newbies to, as I mentioned, the podcast to we even have a, a sugar dating one. We have Tons and tons of promos and basically just go on that site and it will tell you everything and where your promo might go. And as always, if you have any questions, you want your question included um, for the listener question of the week um, or if you just have any questions about OnlyFans itself or about promotion, reach out to me at OnlyFans Hero. Um, I'm on there a lot. I'm on there a lot now. Now that I'm doing the promotion, I'm on there, you know, most days uh, from the afternoon on. So feel free to reach out to me there if you have any questions. And as always, you know, please check out the SEO Bounty blog, which is seobounty.com slash blog. I think I'm at over 20 different marketing articles now that are on there, including like a tips and tricks one that I think is like 8,000 words. I mean, there's just basically... There's enough on there to form several different ebooks, <laughs> and and it's all up to date information. So feel free to jump on the SEO Bounty blog if you have any you know questions, I guess, about how to market yourself, how to improve your subs- you know your number of subscribers, or just optimize your page. At this point, that is also another great resource for creators. And as always, I really appreciate you listening to this podcast, supporting this podcast. If you're able to leave a review for this podcast, please do so. You can leave it on Amazon.com under basically Audible, and you can leave it on Apple iTunes as well. If you write out a review for this podcast, uh, please let me know, screenshot it, send it to me, shoot it over to me on Twitter, and I'll be happy to give you a free shout out You know, with your OnlyFans, uh, just appreciating the fact that you are a listener to this podcast. And as always, I just really appreciate all everyone listening to the podcast. I really hope that you join me for the OnlyFans live Q&A on Thursday. 
and I'll be looking forward to that. And if you do listen to the podcast, make sure to jump on there and say I listen to the podcast. <laughs> So I know, so I can thank you for your support. All right, well, I appreciate it, and I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you on the next episode of the OnlyFans Secrets Podcast.